this example, ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like you to do is be able to see, determine if we have equivalent, equivalent ratios. So to do that, what we need to do is determine, are these the same value? If you can't think of them as being the same values, let me give you a great example of equivalent ratios. One half and two fourths. Are one half and two fourths essentially the exact same measurement? Yes. Yeah, right? If you have one half of something and you have two fourths of something, it's the exact same. And the reason that we can show that they're equivalent is all I need to do is multiply my one half by a multiplier of two over two, and I get two fourths. Right? Showing that these are equal to one another. So therefore, they're equivalent. So what I need to do is to be able to turn, is there a multiplier that I can multiply one of these ratios by to get the other ratio? And usually we like to multiply by integers. You can multiply by fractions, though, if you like. So let's go and take a look at this. If I say 3 fifths, um, and what do I need to get it to over to 15? So usually what I do is just pick a numerator and denominator. So to go to 3 to 15, I have to multiply by what? 5. So we multiply, though, by the same number. You cannot multiply by different numbers. You have to multiply by the same number. Okay. So if you say it takes five, uh, it takes five to multiply by three to give you fifteen, then you have to multiply by five on the denominator as well, because then you're going to produce an equivalent ratio. So therefore, my ratio is fifteen over twenty-five. Well, is that the same thing as 15 over 66? No. No, so therefore this is an example of non-equivalent ratios, right? So therefore you can zip up your zipper in your backpack, right? Because yeah, you, don't, you don't need anything because you're supposed to write this down, right? Okay. Just want to make sure you had everything.